Hey guys, so a lot of you have asked me to make a breakdown or some sort of tutorial on the Valorant VFX that I did. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So yeah, let's get started. So here's the project. The main things that you guys wanted to see is how I did the rain and how I did the lighting. I'm going to show all that and more. First thing is, let's just start over here. So color correction is a big part of this project. It should be a big part of any project. This whole thing took me just under two hours, um, but this is the color correction. I used actually the built-in SL Blue Intense LUT. Um, it should be right here. I used it on 50%. I actually don't usually use built-in LUTs, but for this specific thing, I did. I wanted to make it look really blue and really dark. I just messed with, you know, the shadows, the contrast, um, using, this is all Lumetric color built into After Effects. Um, then I used Film Convert Nitrate. This is a paid plugin, I believe. It just makes it look a little bit dark and grainy you don't need this you can easily do this with just calves and grain and you can use any grain you like speaking of calves i use vignette and then calves just boost those highlights a bit because um as you can see without it it's became a bit dull Oak film convert nitro turned down the vibrance a little bit and added some flicker just on the um and then obviously rsmb uh, let's get into the main stuff let's start with the rain so this is the thing that most people wanted to see um a lot of people thought this was particular, some sort of other particle system. It's actually much more simple than that. Let me show you. All right, so it's right here. I need to start naming these things, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, it's literally just overlays. As you can see, if we open this up, is a few. Let me just unexpand these for a sec. So let's start with the main floor ones. There is four of them. They're all different sizes. They're all put on screen and it's simply just tracked to the floor. I actually manually track these because the tracking is just, it's not going to work most of the time if you want to do it um, well. So yeah, I did rush this quite a lot because it's quite hard to manually track. And again, I only did this whole thing in under two hours. I personally hate masking and tracking. So yeah, but yeah, it's just an overlay with a mask just so it fades in and blends together better with a feather of 500. I got these from Action VFX. If you've never heard of them before, I'll show you them They're right here. They have a lot of effects. I'm not sponsored by them, but I use them a lot. So, you know, there's not just rain, there's a lot of stuff using very popular films. Of course, this is paid, but it is fairly cheap and I would recommend it. So, yeah, again, I'm not sponsored, but they are great. So I did this and then I did one overall of rain on top on just 30% opacity. Obviously it fades in because of the, the way I edited it. So that's the rain just tracked onto the gun, onto the floor, all manually. The next thing that people wanted to know is the lighting. So let's start with the lightning, which is on the gun. So let me just find it really quick. So it's right here, the lightning. This is also, I believe, from Action VFX. Simply just track the gun with a null, which is right here. If you don't know how to do that, um, just Google a tracking tutorial. It's very, very simple. You, you basically just go into window, go into tracking, tracker right here, and then you make a point on the gun and you just track forward. And you then put it onto a null. Uh, and then whatever you want to track to that gun, you simply parent it to the null and it will track. So that's what I did with the lightning, it tracks. I have a lot of flicker effects on this, which is why it becomes so bright. I also use deep glow. That's a big, big part of what I used in most of these effects. Deep glow, be specific. These are the settings at 800 and the one. As you can see, this is before and this is after. I use this on most glowy things. All the lightning effects, for example, right here, when I kill the muddy, um, these are not actually my clips. But when this person kills, I also have this on this lightning right here. Let me solo this lightning. So this lightning is is not from Action VFX. Actually, this one is from RTFX um, pack. And if I also have Red's God Rays, which is another big thing that I use for the lighting in, in this project, I sort of made it base the gun to make it seem like it's connected in some sort of way. It's I love this plugin. It's free and it's amazing. Uh, I really recommend everybody gets this plugin. Uh, these are the settings. I think this is default. I just lowered the exposure a tiny bit. The default exposure is a little too much for my liking. A big part of this project is the sound. The sound is very important. Everybody needs to do um, sound design. It just immerses you fully into the project or whatever you are doing it is half of the pick. So another thing that I added, uh, actually, let's go back to the lighting. So for example, right here, 
this is the lightning but what i did i masked out this house right here or not house sorry this container right here and use this effect called light wrap and what it does is it well wraps the light anyone who does the effects knows about light wrap um you know professionally um i used it on anything that needed it it just helps immerse you it just helps you make the lighting more realistic so i literally just masked out the container use the lighting as the background source and the width is a little bit higher than you know what realistic would be but it is valorant and i thought this is what just looks best so just play around with it i'll overdo it though don't do this it looks like it's in front now even this is a little too much like you would usually do like this much but i wanted to do a little more for this so I use that on a few things. I'm not going to show all of them, but that's what helps it sort of blend in better along with the God rays again on this clip as well. This is without God rays. This is with, let me solo this, with, without. And yeah, so that's everything for the lighting and lightning. Obviously here I used a few lightning effects as well. And it's just deep glow track to the bone. Um, that's it. So we've done the rain, we've done the lighting. A few extra things that I added is the sky. I don't know if you noticed the sky, but um, let me go to a section where you can maybe see it like right here you can see the sky let me solo the sky really quick so for the sky i use action for the effects as well it's just a storm cloud i didn't do a full sky replacement that's why i didn't use any fancy techniques or anything for sky replacement i literally it's the same as the rain it's just an overlay masked and tracked to the sky um so yeah i again i didn't add deep glow i just added god rays for this and i put it on screens and then i tracked and masked it every time it popped up and yeah it looks pretty pretty good some smaller effect base particles and just an overlay not even tracked just slapped on top uh, you can't really see these that well though fog fog is a big big part of not really a big part it's it's quite subtle i'll show you right here so this is before this is after it just sort of blends everything together makes it look nice yes it's part of the lighting uh, i used sc fog linear i used the default that it came with which is around here and i just made it slightly bluer um and then i lowered it to 0.3 right here uh for the depth layer so let's talk about the depth layer for the depth i use depth scanner i know a lot of people have issues with it um a lot of our community already knows about this plugin but um if you don't then here you go i use default settings and i just normalize it instead of using the raw which you should always do gives you a depth map again people always have issues with this i personally never had a problem with it and from this depth map i uh, put it into the fog and i also put it into the depth so the depth is uh, probably my favorite plugin ever made depth of field in general is i love it um i use fl depth of field the reason i use this is because it's incredible you can just select the depth and you can point what it focuses on it's amazing like if i want to focus in the background there you go i want it to focus in the foreground there you go and you can animate this obviously with the focal point i used 20 radius and another thing that i love about this plugin is i'm not sure if it's free or not uh, it could be so don't quote me on that but another thing i love about it is the custom iris now i did have a custom iris on this project but i think i accidentally deleted it so if you don't know what a custom iris is it's basically custom bokeh i'll show you right here if you guys want this pack i found it somewhere for free so i can link it in the description if you want you can use custom bokeh you can find other ones as well um again i did have one but i think i accidentally deleted it and also highlight selection turn this on just so you can see that book are much better so that's depth of field og obviously small things twitch for the shakes uh pan and crop again uh, for the shakes and zoom ins um just smaller things um some people wanted to know how i did this logo it's very simple just 3d track it put it in and i use rough and edges to sort of blend it in better and also levels and put it on screen and some other stuff yes yeah, so it's right here so i use rough and edges on rusty i turned up the border to 500 i use hue and saturation to desaturate a little bit because my logo is very colorful and i use levels to sort of match it more to the background very simple stuff and yeah um one more thing that i did use is a dust overlay so i literally got it off google it's just a dust overlay and i animated it or whenever there's lightning for it to show up sort of like the light if you've ever had a dirty lens before um you'll know that when there's light you can see the dust on the sensor a lot more so i just sort of selected random spots whenever there's lightning i animated it to show up more and then when there's really dark um completely turned it off and uh yeah that, that should be it i added a lot of sound effects like i mentioned rain thunder they're important stuff to 
get you immersed and uh yeah i already mentioned the color correction at the end um all this stuff and uh yeah that should be it so let me know if you have any questions let me know if maybe i forgot to mention something or you want to see anything else and uh yeah should be everything so um peace out